Ali buys the pen for 120 rupees and sells it to his friend for 180 rupees. Did he earn a profit? If so, what would his percentage profit be? Let's calculate if he earns a profit. Ali spends cost price is 120 rupees, while the sale price is 180 rupees. Since the sale price is larger than the cost price, we know that he would earn a profit. Profit is equal to sale price minus cost price, which is 180 minus 120, giving us 60. His profit is therefore 60 rupees. We can show his profit as profit percent. Let's see how. To calculate the profit percent, which can also be denoted as the profit is divided by the cost price and then multiplied by 100%. To calculate the profit percent for Ali's pen, we first write the profit, which is 60 rupees. Then we divide this by the cost price, which is 120 rupees, and multiply this with 100%. The profit is calculated after subtracting 180 by 120 which is 60 rupees. 60 divided by 120 gives us 0 0.5 and multiplying this with 100% gives us 50%. This shows us that the pen was sold at a profit of 50%. If Ali sells the same pen for 90 rupees to his friend, would there be a loss or profit? What is the profit or loss percent? Now, the cost price is larger than the sale price, so we know Ali would suffer a loss. Loss is equal to cost price minus sale price, which is 120 minus 90, giving us a loss of 30 rupees. How do we calculate the loss percent? It's very similar to the profit percent. Loss percent is equal to the loss divided by the cost price times 100%. 30 over 120 multiplying it with 100% forms the expression for loss percent. 30 over 120 gives 0 0.25 and after multiplication we get a loss of 25%. Let's compare profit percent and loss percent. Can you see a similarity between profit percent and loss percent? Both percentages are calculated based on the cost price and not the sale price. This allows the seller, in this case Ali, to compare his profit or loss to the amount of money he has paid. If Ali sold the pen at the same price as the cost price, what would be the profit or loss percent? Since we know that the selling price and the cost price are the same, then by subtracting the cost price from the sale price, we get zero. This shows that there is neither a profit nor a loss. Let's do an exercise. Fatma buys a painting for 3,000 rupees. She sells it for 2,600 rupees. What is the loss percent? First, we calculate the loss by subtracting the sale price from the cost price. So the loss is 400 rupees. Now, by putting all the required values in this formula, we can calculate the loss percent. Hence, the percentage loss is 13.33%. To summarize, profit percent is equal to profit divided by cost price multiplied by 100%. Loss percent is equal to loss divided by cost price into 100%. Both percentages are calculated based on the cost price.